Hey guys, thank you for joining us again at Car System Installation. Today we're going to show you how to remove the radio, the AC controls, the screen, and the gear shift area on an Audi Q5 2017. In this case, we are doing that to install our camera add on to the factory screen. It can also be used for different reasons to access the back of the lighter, put in Apple CarPlay, and other devices that we offer. So, the first thing I'll start is with the AC controls. So, we have these AC controls just popping out. I'm using a plastic popper, they just pop out, and I will remove them so they won't get scratched or anything. So, there is a on the connectors, there's a red clips in here that it won't allow you to press and remove it. So I'm using, I'm using a small, I'm using a screwdriver. I'm just opening those clipses. And that will allow me to access those, to access those uh, uh, clips to remove it. So when the safety is out, then you can press and it will come out. Second one will come out. Okay, I'm gonna put this on the side. Now, in this radio, we have four screws. Two are here and two on the top. Now, the, some of those models don't have those screws. The way you're gonna notice if you remove it and there's no screws and the radio still doesn't come out, look in the radio, usually either in this area or on this area, there's kind of like a small hole. There's special uh, uh, tools that allow you to put inside and there's two clips that will close and you can pull the radio out. In this case, we have the screws. So next thing we need to do is remove the vent. So I'm going to go here. This one is all clips. Just, just be gentle not to make any marks. Now this area is very thin. So make sure you just don't, you don't pull it because you can break it. So work on this side also very thin just work all over around that we don't have anything get loose okay there's a connector there that is a little bit interfering or coming out so just gently this connector just see in this case it got stuck there so what we're gonna do we're gonna release a little bit of the wire and I have the connector Seems like somebody actually, somebody actually slammed the connector behind the uh, behind the screws in here. So the connector also continues to here. So we're gonna take this part out. Again, only clipses. Everything here is clipped out. There's no screws or anything hidden in this case. Some of those vehicles have hidden screws. In this case, it's only screws, it's only clipses. Okay, just gently all around. I'm gonna have lots of noises. Don't worry about them. It's only clipses that are coming out. Okay, and we have this coming out. Unplug it. Now something to pay attention, this one is the airbag. So if you unplug this unit and later on you're gonna turn the ignition on, you might you're gonna have an airbag light. So what I do, I unplug it, I remove it from its location, I remove it out, and I put it back in so that way later on I can do my tests and work on the vehicle without worrying about having the airbag message later. If you did open the airbag message, just use a computer or scanner or something to delete it. So here we have the vent connector. We're just gonna unplug it. So clips, unplug the connector and the vent will completely come out. Okay, as you can see, we have number eight bolts on four directions. Now, open them. And just there is connectors in the back. Just release the connectors, and the radio will come out easy. 
put a cover in here so when you slide the radio we don't scratch anything now you might have to put the gear shift in a drive or something just to allow you to take the radio out so make sure your parking brake is on it's here take it out we have the radio very accessible we have connectors in here so just take them all out Some connectors are more difficult than the other ones, but they all come out. Okay, we have the screen in here. This is our this is the connector we're gonna work on. That's for our main screen. We we'll take out the power. This one you press on it and then the tab goes up. So you press and the tab goes up. Slides out, that's it. Put the radio side. We have this area to work. The screen is four torque screws, number 20. Take them out. I won't take it out right now because I'm not working on this area right now. And now we have the last piece is our uh, surrounding around the gear sheet area. Now this part I won't take it out completely as I don't need. I just need to access the back of the lighter. So I'm going to show you how I do it. Very simple. If you put a screwdriver in any of those corners or put uh, even the metal popper, the plastic popper, you're going to have dents. This aluminum is getting dented very easy. So what I do is I go with two fingers in here, I open the cigarette area, I'll go with two with my fingers in here and I pull it up. And after it's, you pull it out, then you have more access to take this out completely. And there's no need for any tools that we don't make any dents and everything is coming out now something important if you do like me and you're not gonna release it be careful because there is metal clips in here that will scratch the dash so i put a protector under and that way i can work in this area now we have two number eight bolts in here Okay, one in here, one on the other side. Those ones are for removing cigarette, cigarette lighter area. And then it slides out, just slides out. And that's it. Now, disconnect the cable that you need. The cable might be caught back. And we're disconnecting the cable. And now we have an access for accessory. We, for our system, we need, in this case, we need to have accessory. The radio has a constant power and has a ground, but all uh, the, it turns on by data. So we need accessory. We have accessory in this lighter. So that will be the work area. Now the last piece is gonna be the screen. single connector in the back this connector out and now we are done we are ready to work on our uh, camera interface or our, uh, you can put a backup camera uh, sorry dash camera if you need accessory you can then get accessory from here or Apple CarPlay or any of our devices watch our video of how to install our uh, CarPlay how to install our CarPlay and backup camera on those vehicles Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. Have a good day.